How to set up RDS proxy for streamlined database connectivity. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing. What is RDS proxy? How to set up RDS proxy for streamlined database connectivity. Use cases. The client utilizes EC2 to run a web app that connects to an RDS database for querying data. Each query to the database results in a new connection to the RDS, increasing the load on the database. To mitigate this, we decided to implement RDS Proxy to manage the requests sent to the RDS. Amazon RDS Proxy enables applications to pool and share established connections with the database, enhancing database efficiency and application scalability. Additionally, it reduces failover times for MySQL and RDS databases by up to 66%. We achieve this by following these steps. Prerequisites. AWS account. Ensure you have an active AWS account with full access. RDS database. You should have an existing Amazon RDS database instance. IAM roles and policies. Appropriate IAM roles and policies to allow RDS proxy to access your RDS instances. VPC. The RDS instance should be in an Amazon VPC. Security groups. Ensure security groups are set up to allow communication between your application and the RDS proxy. What is RDS proxy? Amazon RDS proxy is a fully managed database proxy for Amazon Relational Database Service, RDS, that improves application scalability, resiliency, and security. It enables applications to pool and share database connections, reducing the overhead of opening and closing connections frequently. RDS Proxy helps handle spikes in traffic by efficiently managing connections, thus improving database performance and availability. It also enhances security by centralizing database credentials and managing IAM authentication. How to set up RDS Proxy for streamlined database connectivity. Go to EC2 service. Click Security Groups. Click Create Security Group. Give a name to the security group. I am giving RDS SSH. Give a description. Select VPC. I am choosing my existing VPC. In Outbound Rules, choose All Traffic. In Inbound Rules, select MySQL slash Aurora. In Source, choose Anywhere IPv4. Click Create Security Group. Now we want to add another role in Inbound. Click Edit Inbound Rules. Click Add Rule. Choose All Traffic. In Source, select your security group ID. Click Save Rules. Go to RDS Services and click Create Database. I am choosing MySQL. In Templates, I'm choosing Free Tier. Give a name for the database. Give password here and remember the password. I am selecting my pre-existing VPC. Here, select your security group that we created in the starting.
Now click Create Database. It takes time to create. Now the database is successfully created. Now we want to attach EC2 instance to RDS. Click Setup EC2 instance. Choose your instance and click Continue. Click Setup. Now go to AWS Secret Manager. Click Store a new secret. Choose credentials for Amazon RDS database. Give a username and password. Select your created database and click Next. Give a secret name. Now click Next. Click Next. Click Store. Now click your secret name. Copy the secret ARN because we want to attach this to policy. Go to IAM Services. Click Policies and click Create Policy. In Service, select RDS. Click JSON. Now we want to replace the script with a new one. I have been given the new script in the description. Here we want to paste the secret ARN. Give a policy name. I am giving sk underscore rds underscore data, one, and then click Create Policy. Now our policy is created. Click Roles. Click Create Role. In use case, select RDS. Select RDS Add Role to Database and click Next. Select your created policy. Click Next. Give a role name. Click Create Role. Now go back to the RDS service. Click Proxies. Click Create Proxy. Give a name to the proxy. Select your database. In IAM role, 
Select your created role. Select your secret name. Click Additional Connectivity Configuration. Select a security group that we created in the starting. Click Create Proxy. It takes time to create. Now we want to test the connectivity to the RDS DB instance. Go to your database, copy the endpoint. Now go to the EC2 instance server. Type mysql -h, your database endpoint, hyphen p, 3306, u, your username, hyphen p. Now click enter. Type your password. The mysql connection has been successfully established. Now we want to check the connection to the RDS instance through the RDS proxy endpoint. Go back RDS service, go inside your proxy. Copy the proxy endpoint. Now, type the same command, but replace the database endpoint with the proxy endpoint. Enter your password. Now we have successfully connected to the RDS DB instance via the RDS proxy endpoint. Conclusion. We have seen. What is RDS proxy? How to set up RDS proxy for streamlined database connectivity? Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.